guys. So, oh, excuse the mess of my desk. My boy's been using my desk since I've been at my mother's and he's made a right mess of everything. So I'm coming on with a bit of a haul and then a project share. So first of all, I bought this from Amazon, the Alice in Wonderland um, die cut kit. I'm not going to go through it all with you because there's just far too much in there, but I'll show you a few of the big ones. So you've got the bigger Alice here, and they're all on chipboard. And you get smaller Alice. Get the March hair. So you get the idea, you get the Queen. So yeah, you get the idea. There are playing cards in there and all sorts. So that's that. Then I bought this from the works for a friend. That's going in friend mail. Someone who I know absolutely loves unicorns. Also from the works, I bought these. And these are paper blocks. So I've got the blue paper block. And it's just all different. Blue patterns. So sort of stunning. And then you've got the pink one. Which is all different pink patterns. And then you've got the green. And then the purple. Purple's lovely. That one is beautiful. You get loads of... There we are. That's those. I also bought one of these um, die-cut books, which I'm not going to go through because everybody's gone through these so much. I got Charlie book for Happy Mail. Um, I bought some felt doily because they were reduced to 75p. I bought some Stars and Moons and these are acrylic. So it'll be nice for my mixed media. Some foliage. And they've got sparkly bits on, so I thought that'd be nice for Christmas. Then I went to um, the range and I bought these Bare Basics burlap flowers. I got this Bare Basics um, dragonfly. I don't know if you can see that. There we are. And I bought the Bare Basics frames as well. These are all for my mixed media. I found strand of beads. Beaded strand. Then from the pound shop I got... That was from the pound shop. This is from the pound shop, Head in the Clouds. I got an idea for this. So... That was all right. Then I was given these fairies. They'll come in handy for decorating Happy Mail. I got the Gryffindor Harry Potter bag. Because I collect anything to do with Harry Potter. Absolutely love Harry Potter. Must be mad. And then from B&M, I just picked up A4 document wallets. Also from the pound shop, was this thing that I'm going to turn, is, is going to be for my ribbons and things. The next thing was from the internet. I think it was from AliExpress. It finally arrived and it's lots of gold, little, little gold leaves. So that finally arrived. 
open that in a minute. Next from Hunky Dory was the free members gift and I always order the whole lot. So I've got the free members gift, the inserts and the card that goes with it plus this birthday wishes book. It's just full of sentiments really. So yeah, there was that from Hunky Dory. Then there was this red button metallic paper and card collection 50 sheets, which I haven't actually opened yet. Let's have a look see. It's got all different coloured metallic card in it. And pearl card. Pearl dotted card. See the pearl on that? I don't know if you can. It's all different coloured pearlised card and paper. So that will come in very handy. Also from the range, I bought this Back to Basics um, Over the Rainbow pack for four ninety nine. There was that. I bought the paper. Crafter magazine and it came free with an Enchanted Swan deluxe card kit and with a small die of a present with some flowers coming out of it and all these garden stamps plus the magazine as well obviously the next I bought this from um, Gracie's Place, which I haven't actually opened yet. Oh, it's ripped. Damn it. So, what did I buy? I bought the Christmas Ephemera, which comes beautifully packaged. And I bought the glassine bags, and I've got some points as well. Put that over there with my other points. I bought some glassine bags, three by five. I'm not sure how many are in there. I think it's about ten. But it was very cheap to buy the glassine bags from her. So I got the glassine bags from Malu at Gracie's place. So as per usual, Malu, you've done a wonderful job. Plus it also comes in its own bag, which I can use for junk journaling as well. Next... Uh, from Creating Craft, I bought a paint pouring kit. It comes with three paint pouring cups, measuring cups, three stirrers, oh, that doesn't come in there. some silicone oil, some pouring medium. Pentart pouring medium, and three different colours of acrylic paint, and the instructions. So watch this space, I'll be trying paint pouring, I'll be doing that on video, just to see how it goes. So that's what I've been buying, now what for what I've been making. So I made, or altered this mask. It did look, it was all plain like this. And I've gone and done the one side like this. So now it looks like that. So it's an autumn fairy mask. Is what I'm calling that one. So that'll go out in Happy Mail. I made this pocket letter. Which I haven't filled the back in of yet. Uh, I decided I didn't know what I could do with all my um, colouring books, so I decided to start chopping them up and putting them into color, co pocket letters. So that's a fairy, a blue fairy, forget me not fairy. Or is it a bluebell fairy? I'm not sure. And then the next thing I made was this it's just an ordinary bag from um, 
hobby craft and I've decorated it in the style of Alice in Wonderland. I've done some embossing on here. This is rice paper on here. I put crackle glaze along here so that whoever gets this will see it's all crackled on there. I don't know if I can see that. Oh, there you go. It's all crackle. Crackle glaze. I put some hearts on here and some roses and the red and white here and yep that's my Alice bag that's going to be holding some happy mail and yeah that's it so let me know what you think in the comments guys if you like the video like it if you don't then don't and I will catch you again next time bye bye now